Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to clone your desktops or laptops hard drive containing your Windows operating system. This method works for all Windows version and is same for both the desktop and laptops. Cloning your drive helps you to make an exact copy of your Windows operating system and data of your desktop or laptop without losing your Windows license and without losing any files, folders, settings or applications. Cloning is usually done when you want to upgrade your storage from hard drive to SSD to improve speed and performance or upgrade your smaller SSD storage to a larger SSD storage. This method works for all Windows version and is same for both the desktop and laptops. For this, you are going to need a SATA to USB connector to connect the external drive to the desktop or laptop. And you can easily purchase this connector online. You won't see the SSD drive when connected. Like here in my PC, only the hard drive is visible. That's because you have to allocate a drive to the SSD. For this, you have to go to Disk Management and here if GPT is selected, then click on OK. Here you can see that your SSD is unallocated and the unallocated drive is denoted by black color. Here in the unallocated drive, right click on the mouse button, then click on New Simple Volume, then click on Next. Then here you can allocate disk size. As I want a single drive, I will leave the volume size full and then click on Next. Here assign a drive letter and click on Next. Then here also click on Next and then click on Finish and your SSD drive gets allocated and like the rest of the drives, the black line will turn to blue. After which your SSD will start showing as your PC drive as you can see here. After this, you have to download the cloning tool. There are many free cloning apps that are easily available to clone, but I will be using the Macrium Reflect Free. For this, we have to go to the Macrium Reflect Free page, whose link you will find in the description below. Then download Reflect 8 Free. Then open the downloaded installation file and click on Download. Then here you have to click on Next. And here you have to click on Next. And then select I accept the terms in license agreement and click on Next. And after selecting I agree to the following click on next. Then if you do not want to register, uncheck this and then click on next. Then click on next here and click on install. After installation completes, click on finish and Maxim Reflect opens up. As I only want to clone the drive with the Windows operating system, I will uncheck all the other drives. Then click here on Clone this disk. Then click on Select a disk to clone to. And select the drive you want to clone the Windows drive to. Then click on Next. And then click on Finish. Then click on OK. And you will see a warning that your drive will be overwritten. So here you have to select this and click on Continue. After which your cloning starts. This process takes time to complete, which depends on your data size. When this process completes, your cloning will be complete. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, then please do like this video and subscribe to my channel.